Soon after the Cybertruck debut, Elon Musk confirmed on Twitter that Tesla will provide a matte black option for the all-electric pickup. As expected, it looks absolutely incredible. Tesla opened its charging network to other electric vehicles for the first time. On the other hand, the company introduced a new home charger that is suitable for all electric cars. Since October 2020, Tesla's stock has soared more than 50% for the first time in a month. If the United Nations can show how $6 billion US dollar will solve the world's hunger problem, Elon Musk proposed to sell the company's stock right now. Tesla is introducing a new type of solar roof tile with higher efficiency and higher power capacity. The company is trying to make its solar products mainstream. In China, the Tesla announced a new financial leasing plan for more affordability as it offers the option of 0% down to purchase a Tesla vehicle. The company also seems ready to crush Q4 2021 deliveries. Finally, China-based Kinfeng Lithium Industry recently announced that they have signed a supply agreement with the American car manufacturer, which aims to provide from 2022 a three-year battery-grade lithium product. Hello guys and welcome back to Technopool, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla, Elon Musk, and of course the EV industry. For new videos please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the bell button to receive all notifications. An image of the matte black Cybertruck was recently shared on the Tesla Motors subreddit, although it was taken from the Instagram page of a former Tesla aerodynamics engineer. The picture is simple, the background is Cybertruck, and the foreground is the next-generation Roadster. The color of Cybertruck is the obvious matte black in the photo, which makes the whole pickup look very domineering. So far, Tesla has manufactured at least two fully functional silver Cybertruck prototypes. One is the vehicle used for demonstration and test drives during the Cybertruck unveiling at the end of 2019, and the other was recently seen at the Castle Airport in Atwater, California. The recently seen Cybertruck seems to be different from the original functional silver prototype because it is equipped with a side-view mirror, a larger windshield, and a shorter hood. Tesla also showed some non-functional Cybertruck models. However, during the unveiling process, the company introduced a matte gray model that looked like a full-scale Cybertruck model. The model provided a good contrast to the brushed silver look of the fully functional prototype and also has a good understanding of the appearance of the all-electric pickup truck. Considering that matte black Cybertrucks in motion have not been found so far, the vehicle in the recently shared image may also be a full-size model. It will not be surprising if more Cybertruck with different color options are found in the next few months. So far, Tesla has pointed out that it will start initial Cybertruck production at the Gigafactory in Texas before the end of 2022. As the company approaches this date, more Cybertruck may be tested on public roads. Tesla seems to have moved in this direction. The company confirmed on the 2021 third quarter earnings conference call that it has manufactured multiple Cybertruck Alpha prototypes. As you may have seen recently in social media, We've built a number of alphas and are currently testing those to further mature the design. And while those point out a few key additions, like a rear steer, there are also a number of smaller or less visible improvements, though the product is largely true to the initial vision. We'll continue to work through the product in the beta stages that we're in now and look to launch that by next year, Tesla Vice President of Vehicle Engineering Lars Moravi said. For the first time in the Netherlands, Tesla opened its charging network to other electric vehicles through a pilot program because the world's most valuable automaker hopes to bring electric vehicles into the mainstream. The program will be tested at 10 locations in the Netherlands. The company said on Monday that non-Tesla electric car drivers in the Netherlands can access Tesla charging stations or supercharging stations through the Tesla app. Tesla drivers can continue to use these charging stations and the company will closely monitor each site of congestion. Tesla operates more than 25,000 superchargers around the world, while other automakers are forming alliances or investing in online startups in the process of bringing new electric vehicles to the market. The superchargers are open to cars with the combined charging system favored by BMW, Mercedes-Benz maker Daimler, Ford and the Volkswagen, which includes Audi and Porsche. Tesla uses the CCS standard in Europe, allowing a wide range of cars to charge in stations without an adapter that uses a similar connector. On the other hand, the company is launching a new home charger with a J1772 plug that is suitable for all electric cars in North America, not just Tesla cars. Recently, Tesla seems to be taking a lot of measures to provide services for electric vehicles rather than just making them. Equipped with J1772 connector, charge your electric vehicle at home with the J1772 Generation 2 wall connector, a convenient home charging solution for electric vehicle owners. Simply plug in overnight and charge while you sleep. Providing up to 9.6 kilowatt power output for a single vehicle, the J1772 Generation 2 includes a 24-foot cable length, multiple power settings, and a versatile indoor and outdoor design. 
This is the first time Tesla has sold a charger without its own proprietary connector in North America. This charger is primarily designed for non-Tesla vehicles, although Tesla vehicles can still use it with an adapter. Tesla still recommends that Tesla vehicle owners use conventional Tesla wall-mounted connectors. Priced at $415, it is also a relatively cheap Level 2 charger, but it is Tesla's Generation 2 charger. Unlike the latest Generation 3 charger, it does not have a Wi-Fi connection. Last week, Tesla locked in a massive deal with rental company Hertz, which ordered 100,000 Model 3 electric sedans from Tesla. Tesla stock went soaring, gaining 22% last week following the news. The company also became the most recent company to join the trillion-dollar valuation club, joining companies like Apple, Google parent company Alphabet, and Amazon on the list. Elon Musk has offered to sell some of his Tesla stock right now if the UN can prove that $6 billion will solve world hunger. His comments came after UN World Food Program director David Beasley challenged the ultra-wealthy, and in particular the world's two richest men Jeff Bezos and Musk, to step up now on a one-time basis to help solve world hunger in an interview with CNN last week. $6 billion to help 4 to 2 million people that are literally going to die if we don't reach them. It's not complicated, Beasley said on CNN Connect the World program with Becky Anderson. That sum would equate to roughly 2% of Musk's net wealth. Posting on Twitter on Sunday, the Tesla chief executive said, If WFP can describe on this Twitter thread exactly how $6 billion will solve world hunger, I will sell Tesla's stock right now and do it. But it must be open source accounting, so the public sees precisely how the money is spent, he added. Beasley replied to Musk's post on Twitter, saying that he can assure the billionaire that the World Food Program has established a transparency and open source accounting system. Your team can review and work with us to be totally confident of such, he said. $6 billion will not solve world hunger, but it will prevent geopolitical instability, mass migration, and save 4 to 2 million people on the brink of starvation. An unprecedented crisis and a perfect storm due to COVID conflict and climate crises, he added. According to the Bloomer Billionaire Index, as of Monday, Musk's net worth is $311 billion, making him the richest person in the world. Tesla has had its ups and downs with solar roofs. The product is widely recognized for its exquisite design. It is undeniable that it has significant advantages over ordinary solar panels and can penetrate markets such as new houses and homes that require relatively quick roof replacement. However, getting it to market has been difficult. Tesla ran into problems with the test life, and as the company realized the difficulty of creating streamlined products for different things like roofs, prices fluctuated greatly. After introducing a new roof complexity factor, Tesla substantially increased the price of solar roof tiles earlier this year. But the company claims that demand for solar roofs remains strong after the price increase and installation is accelerating. Now we understand that Tesla is making a major upgrade to its solar roof using new and more powerful solar tiles. Electric has obtained the datasheet of the new solar tiles that Tesla has begun to incorporate into the solar roof designed specifically for customers. Tesla previously used its SR60 T1 watts with a capacity of 58.5 watts in its solar roof design. Now the company is using the new SR72 T1 solar tiles to make a quotation and start the installation. The new tile has a higher maximum power output of 71.67 watts. With more efficient solar cells, Tesla managed to maintain the same tile size with a 22% increase in max power output. It will enable Tesla to fit more solar power with fewer solar tiles on a single roof. In the solar roof installation, Tesla installed tiles with solar energy, but some did not. The company tried to optimize each roof by installing solar cells on the tiles. From a ground point of view, solar tiles and non-solar tiles look the same. Using fewer solar tiles can simplify the installation process because it requires fewer electrical connections between tiles. Interestingly, the new tile datasheet also mentions that Tesla can install solar tiles on existing roofs. Tesla is also trying to accelerate the adoption of its solar roof tiles by standardizing products and having independent roofing companies install them. Tesla is also working hard to get more solar roof orders. While Tesla ended its referral program for cars last month, the program remained for its solar roof and even increased its referral award to $500. Tesla China announced a new financial leasing plan for more affordability and it offers the option of 0% down to purchase a vehicle, as well as several other financing options. Reducing the cost of Tesla's cars, or at least providing more powerful and flexible financing options, so that more people can afford its cars, is ultimately one of the automaker's goals. Electric vehicles have been widely adopted in China, and Tesla is one of the most popular manufacturers in the market. However, as competition intensifies, Tesla may have realized the need to provide more options in financing to make its products more attractive to ordinary consumers.
Therefore, Tesla has launched a new financing plan in China that provides five options to make customers' down payment, monthly payment, and terms more flexible. For the company, this is a step in the right direction to cater to more consumers, and as more people can afford Tesla, sales in China may increase slightly. Tesla China also seems to be ready for delivery in the fourth quarter of 2021. A recent video about Shanghai Gigafactory shows that the factory's premises have been crowded, suggesting that Tesla has strong demand this quarter. In a video posted by drone operator Jason Yang, Tesla advocates counted a record of 2,150 cars parked in Giga Shanghai. The video shows that with the end of 2021, Giga Shanghai will not let up. Tesla China seems to be doing the opposite and is working harder than ever. As of September, the Tesla Giga Shanghai's production rate reached 1,600 Model Y per day. In August, the factory reported that it produced 1,000 Model Y cars and 800 Model 3 cars per day. The number of Model 3 updated by Giga Shanghai has not yet been announced, but it is estimated that it may be safe for the factory to produce at least 2,000 cars per day. Tesla China posted stellar September delivery numbers, reporting 56,006 deliveries overall. According to the China Passenger Car Association, Tesla Giga Shanghai's deliveries were up 27% month over month. Tesla China sold 133,238 vehicles in Q3 2021 alone, making up 44% of Tesla's third quarter sales. It has been instrumental in boosting Tesla's delivery numbers in Europe. Tesla Giga Shanghai seems to be still increasing production capacity. The company still appears to be optimizing all of its existing gigafactories. As of the third quarter of 2021, Tesla has delivered 627,350 vehicles so far this year, surpassing its 2020 total deliveries of 499,550 vehicles. Finally, China's Ganfeng Lithium Corporation and its subsidiary GFL International, which is currently the world's largest lithium company by market value, recently announced that they have signed a supply agreement with American electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla. According to the lithium battery company, the transaction is aimed at supplying battery-grade lithium products to Tesla starting in 2022 for three years. Ganfeng officially announced the large-scale transaction in a document submitted to the Shenzhen Stock Exchange on Monday. According to the filing documents of the lithium battery company, the sales and value of Tesla's three-year contract have not yet been determined. However, given that Tesla intends to launch some key projects in its electric vehicle business in 2022, this deal may be important. For example, the company has pointed out that it expects its two newest factories to begin operations by the end of 2021. This indicates that Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory and Texas Gigafactory operations may grow in 2022. In fact, vehicles like Cybertruck and Semi both are expected to use the company's 4680 batteries, may eventually achieve some production next year, and it is not surprising that Tesla has secured a supply deal for its product's batteries. Tesla's recent announcement of a three-year lithium supply agreement with Ganfeng is not surprising, because the Chinese supplier has provided battery-grade lithium products for the electric car manufacturer in the past. Ganfeng can also take advantage of the rise of the electric vehicle movement, and this lithium supplier has made considerable gains this year. Due to rising lithium prices and strong demand, Ganfeng's Q3 and 9-month net profits were up 507% and 648% on an annual basis, respectively. Tesla's aggressive battery strategy is beginning to become apparent. In addition to the continuous improvement of the company's internal 4680 battery production test line at its Kata Road plant, the company has also placed a large number of battery orders with its suppliers. Reports from China also show that Tesla has ordered 4 to 5 gigawatt hour of lithium iron phosphate batteries from Cattle, which is enough to meet nearly 800,000 Model 3 standard range plus and Model Y standard range units. Tesla's battery partner in Gigafactory Nevada, Japanese technology group Panasonic, also launched its own 4680 battery. Kazuo Tadanabu, head of Panasonic's battery department, is optimistic about the new battery and pointed out that the capacity of the larger battery is five times that of the smaller model. Panasonic also pointed out that it plans to start testing and production of its 4680 batteries in Japan by March 2022. So that's all for today, we hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave your comment in the section below, and please don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming soon, so until then stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.